Hello and welcome to another video where we have a look step by step through the AQA GCSE computer science specification. We're working on paper one today. I'm Mr. Chapman. If you are studying on this course and you want to make sure you never miss out on one of our revision videos, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. And if this video does end up helping you out, please consider popping a like on there because it does help us out in return. We're looking at the efficiency of algorithms today and specifically the idea that efficiency is important when there's more than one way to solve a problem. Now we know already from an earlier video in this series that there usually is more than one way to solve a problem. We sort of scratched the surface back then on the idea of efficiency and deciding what's gonna be your best solution to a problem. But we need to make sure that we are very clear that it's better to have a more efficient algorithm. We want our algorithm to be as efficient as possible. And there's two measures of efficiency. We look at efficiency in terms of time and space. So how long does the program take to complete and how much space in our memory does the program take up while it's running? So the first thing we consider when we're looking at the efficiency of algorithms is whether or not the program can be solved using brute force. Meaning if we just keep trying different combinations of solution, are we gonna hit an answer in a reasonable amount of time? If we do, then there's an argument that we could just use brute force to solve our problem. But let's assume we've got a problem where we can't just use brute force. For example, if we had to sort words of 158 characters, including all the spaces, all the symbols, everything you could possibly type on your keyboard, we're looking at something that's just a little bit longer than a tweet. If we were trying to sort those, even if we could compute one billion possibilities a second, it would still take longer than the expected life of the universe to solve that problem. So it's just not realistic to solve that problem using brute force. It fails when we look at the principle of time in terms of our efficiency. So we need an algorithm that's more efficient. We need to be able to save ourselves some time. And this is the key part of the efficiency of algorithms that might come up on your exam. At GCSE level, we're only really concerned with time measure. And time measure is a function that describes how long an algorithm takes to process. And by time, we don't necessarily mean the ticking of the second hand on a clock. Time can mean a number of different things. It might mean the number of times our program accesses memory while it's processing what it needs to do. It might mean the number of comparisons between integers. It might mean the number of times a loop is executed. Or realistically, it could be allocated to any unit that's related to the amount of time our algorithm will take to complete. I hope that's been of benefit to you today. If it has, please head down and hit on that like button. And while you're there, why not click on my face to subscribe to the channel? That way you won't miss out on any of our future videos. I've stuck a couple of those videos on screen for you now to help you out with the next steps of your revision. And thank you very much for watching.